Hey guys, Jody here, long time no see. I know it's been a couple years, I apologize. A lot's happened and, you know, I know you don't wanna hear all that boring stuff. Uh, I know the first thing you're wondering is, wait a minute, those are Mercaros. You are correct. I'm in my brand new 2021 Toyota RAV4 XLE Hybrid Premium. Uh, I bought this car about four weeks ago. She has 1,300 miles and she's been amazing. She's been so much fun. I've already hit up a couple trails. I got all the bells and whistles. I got the heated leather seats as climate control, heated steering wheel, touchscreen, moonroof, and all the all the good stuff. It's so different from the Evo. I mean, when I had the Evo, she was pretty bare bones, um, pretty basic, because I was planning on you know, modifying and doing all the other stuff, and I didn't really care about all these other features with that car. But for the RAV4, I knew I was gonna take her on trips and adventures, and I wanted to get the heated seats for when I go snowboarding. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to get something more capable. So, um, unfortunately, I had to sell the Evo. It felt like it was time. Uh, I started thinking about selling her about two years ago. I wanted something more capable. I was thinking about getting either a Tacoma or a 4Runner. And then last year, I came across one of these and I was in love. Started doing my research and I was sold. Starting, started to um, kind of quietly prepare for selling my Evo. I didn't really tell anybody that I was planning to do this. So once I sold the Evo, I picked my RAV4 up about four weeks ago. She has about 1,300 miles. And for those of you who know me and know my previous vehicles, I don't keep them stock for very long. I'm really impatient and I'm hard-headed and I try to enjoy her stock as long as I could, but I can. So I'm actually on my way to Street Image Automotive in Santa Ana, California. They're gonna do a two inch ready lift along with 16 by eight plus 20 fuel vector wheels. Right now, my RAV4 since this is a premium, it has 18 inch wheels, 18 by sevens. I'm gonna go down to 16 by eights, so I have a larger sidewall on my tires. And I'm, and I'm gonna wrap them with Kenda Cleaver um, KR628 all terrain tires. And those are gonna be 245, 70, 16s. So they should fit with the lift. Um, hopefully, there won't be any rubbing, but we shall see. So I'll see you guys when I get there.